I am about to show you how anybody can become a multi-millionaire. Literally anybody. A few weeks back when I was visiting the UK, a friend of mine came to me and said, can I help him budget and start his investing journey? Now he is working as a shift manager at a very popular hardware store in the UK called B&Q. They sell paints and woods and all kinds of stuff, but it got me thinking, what if I'd have got to him 10 years earlier? how much more financially sound would he be? In fact, I even thought further, how many other people are in this same situation where they just need to start investing and more so how to push themselves to become a multi-millionaire. And so this video idea was born. Somebody who is working at McDonald's, a job that people tend to look down on, how can they become a multi-millionaire? In fact, I'm gonna show you how they can accumulate a wealth pile of well over 4 million US dollars. And honestly, it's pretty damn easy. And there's only two things I'll reveal later that's stopping anybody from doing this exact thing. Now, all I ask is this video took a hell of a lot of work and a hell of a lot of numbers in Excel. So if you can appreciate this type of content and it does motivate you to start doing more of your investments, help this video reach a larger audience, please do go ahead and tap that like button. Whatever color your device allows, it greatly does help me out. So let's get on with our story. We're gonna need an imaginary character. So let's give a bloke a name in the UK and we're gonna call him Angelo. Now, Angelo is 18 years old and he started investing a couple of weeks ago and lost absolutely everything on AMC. In fact, Angelo's confidence is so low he starts working at McDonald's. Now, Angelo is not the brightest tool in the box, but he is willing to work hard. And he still has dreams of one day becoming a millionaire and realize that maybe AMC wasn't the way to do it. Now, many people underestimate McDonald's and how much they can pay you. Like with any job, if you work hard and grow the success ladder, you can make a hell of a lot more money. So Angelo sets his targets of by being a store manager by the age of 25. Like I said, He's not the sharpest tool in the box, and he could probably achieve this dream much earlier. So now Angelo is 25, and he lives in Birmingham, the UK, right bang in the middle of England. And it is a very much average financial place to live in terms of expenses. It's right down the middle of the road in terms of wealth. If you lived in London, it would be a lot more expensive. And if you grew up where I grew up in Teesside, where smog is abundant, he would have a much cheaper life expense ratio too, but Birmingham is pretty much right down the middle. So now he's age 25 and he finally got his dream. He's finally become a store manager in McDonald's. Now the average salary in the UK for a McDonald's manager is coming in at about 31,400 and 96 pounds a year, which of course is before tax, but more on that in just a second. But Angelo realizes this is not gonna make him a multimillionaire just doing this. So he needs to invent a strategy. And luckily enough, he just came on YouTube one day and found this good looking guy with a beard on the internet who's been stressing you should start investing yesterday. You should start as early as possible and not invest tomorrow. And because of this, Angelo is motivated to start investing into the stock market. Now, Angelo's monthly income before tax comes in at about £2,264.64p, roughly. He's currently in the tax bracket of 20%, meaning after taxes, he takes on roughly £2,100 every single month. Now, Angelo is a bloke who realized from watching YouTube, he needs to make financial sacrifices in the beginning of his life if he wants to become a multimillionaire and buy a lime green Lambo. So rather than get a loan out and get a Lambo today, he rides the bus like a champion. He buys a cheap bicycle and rides as much as possible, saving every penny he can. He realizes that even saving five pounds today in 30 years time could be a hell of a lot of money. Now the average cost of living in Birmingham, excluding rent, is about 652 pounds a month. And he's clever. He realizes he doesn't need a house himself, so he looks for a place to share an apartment or a house with. And his monthly rent expenses is about 500 pounds a month too. Now he could probably find an apartment for this price himself, but let's say he finds one and shares it with people and he could even probably find it cheaper than this. But nonetheless, it's close to work, 500 pounds a month on rent. He also sets aside 150 pounds a month for entertainment so he can go out at least twice a month or even maybe get a gym membership or even go to the cinema. But that is his fun money every single month. Deducting all these expenses, it will leave him with approximately 780 pounds every single month. This is called his free cash flow or his surplus income. This means that if he adds up this free cash, this surplus income of 780 pounds every single month, he could invest approximately 940 pounds every single year, which is definitely not bad, but I would advise against it. In fact, 
I'd say don't do this at all. I think he should build up a rainy day fund and only invest the bulk of this amount. And Angelo agrees. He thinks that he should invest about 75% of this figure, approximately £7,000 every single year into an investment. Now, Angelo doesn't know this yet, but he's took the hardest and most logical step any investor can make. He's just took the first step on a very brave and long journey on becoming a multi-millionaire, and he probably didn't even know it. Now, Angelo's investing strategy is very, very simple. He signs up an account with eToro down on the pinned comment. And because he signed up using that link, he also gets access to a chat room where other savers and investors are there daily. So if you wanna join Angelo and myself in the chat room, check out eToro on the pinned comment and you can also get lifetime access. And yes, that was a shameless plug. But what he did there is he signed up with eToro and eToro is a commission-free broker that allows him to invest into the top 500 companies in the US as a bulk investment. So he buys into the ETF VOO, which is the Vanguard tracker for the S&P 500, and it's very cheap in terms of fees. Now, Angelo knows historically that this ETF will average about 10% a year over the long period of time. So he can compound and do the math and create an Excel with his predicted wealth. So now let's look at how Angelo gets on for the next five years. Now we need to make assumptions here in calculating the future growth of Angelo's portfolio, but also his cost of living. Now, historically in my past performance, I tend to use a 3% base mark on inflation. Now inflation right now is a lot higher, but over time it will go a lot lower than 3% too. I've also assumed that Angelo every single year can negotiate his salary and get an increase of 3% a year. The key to any job and growing your salary is proving you are a very valuable member of the team and definitely irreplaceable. And if you do this every single year or every couple of years, you should be able to negotiate a decent 3% increase to your salary. And just a side note, whenever you do negotiate salary, always do it from a position of strength where it proves that you are irreplaceable. If you do this, management really cannot say no. So now Angelo is 25, he's got a strategy and he is set up as a manager of McDonald's. He knows what he's investing every single month and he knows what the next couple of years are gonna look like. From age 25 to 29, and I cannot stress this enough, this is where Angelo has started his journey on becoming an investing hero. This is where investing gods are made in this time period. This is where I have made the most amount of money myself. So Angelo continues to invest 75% of his surplus income. He continues to room share and save on capital rather than having his own Gucci apartment. And he's definitely not buying a new car anytime soon. And as such, his investing account is gonna thank him a lot. In fact, in 30 years time, his bank's gonna thank him too but more on that later. It's Angelo's 29th birthday and he has amassed a staggering 45,000 US dollars in his investing accounts. His investments are growing at historical averages of 10% every single year and every single year he's putting in 75% of his surplus income. But Angelo is about to meet somebody that can change his life forever. And more so the hero of our story, Angelo, is at a crossroads and he is about to make one of the biggest decisions of his life. But more on that in part two of this series. If you wanna see what happens to our hero, Angelo, in the next video, drop down in the comments the code word, which is Angelo's money. Drop that in the comments, it would greatly help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you cannot wait, and you're watching two days after this video was released, check out the next video up there, because part two is going to shock you on our journey from McDonald's to millionaire. That's it from me, be safe and start investing today. Peace.